Commanding officer of the Southern Command, Major General Yaron Finkelman, said he had just returned from the battlefield in Gaza City. Israeli forces have given civilians still trapped inside the freshly encircled Gaza City a four-hour window to leave. During these hours, too, we are fighting the most significant center of the Gaza Strip. This is where I have just returned from now. For the first time in decades, Israeli defense forces are fighting in the heart of Gaza City, at the heart of terrorism. This is a complex and difficult war, and to my sorrow, it also comes at a price. In some of the first direct comments on Israel's plans for the future of Gaza after the war, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Tuesday that Israel would take over responsibility for the territory's security once it defeats the militants. Well, there will be no... Uh ceasefire, general ceasefire in Gaza without the release of our hostages. As far as tactical little pauses, an hour here, an hour there, we've had them before. I suppose uh, we'll check the circumstances in order to enable uh, goods, humanitarian goods to come in or our hostages, uh, individual hostages to leave. But I don't think there's going to be a general ceasefire. Uh, it's not that I don't think. I think it will hamper the war effort. It'll hamper our effort to get our hostages out, because the only thing that works on these criminals in Hamas is the military pressure that we're exerting. President Biden has said that it would be a mistake for Israel to occupy Gaza. Who should govern Gaza when this is over? Those who don't want to uh, continue the way of Hamas. It certainly is not. Uh, uh, I think Israel will, for uh, uh, an indefinite period, will have the overall uh, security responsibility because we've seen what happens when we don't have it. When we don't have that security responsibility, what we have is the eruption of uh, Hamas terror on a scale that we couldn't imagine. War began on the 7th of October when Hamas fighters burst across the fence enclosing Gaza and killed 1,400 Israelis, mostly civilians, and abducted more than 200, according to Israeli tallies. Since then, Israel has unrelentingly bombarded Hamas around Gaza, killing more than 10,000 people, around 40% of them children, according to tallies by health officials in Gaza.